Hey, uh, Streaming Wars update. This one I have a lot to read from, so I may not read the whole thing. But okay. For years, Disney has been keeping 80% of the revenue from older shows that it distributes to streaming platforms, leaving only 20% to be available to stars and other profit participants. Profit participants. That's I never heard that. Okay. It does so by classifying the revenue as home video under a formula mm -hmm. dating back dating from the introduction of the VCR. Uh, Disney subtracts 80% uh, uh, royalty to an in-house distributor to cover the costs of distribution. In 2017, Bill Nye star Bill Nye the Science Guy challenged that practice, calling it yet another example of Hollywood accounting. In a lawsuit in Los Angeles Supreme Court, Nye argued that the actual distribution costs for platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime are minimal and that Disney is essentially making millions of dollars off the top without justification. But earlier this month, a judge sided with Disney Judge David Cohen ruled that Nye's 1993 contract allows the studio to continue to classify streaming and download revenue as home video and to continue to take the 80% royalty. Nye's attorney, Raymond Hammock, said that he would appeal. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. So <laughs> this is this is what you call creative accountancy. You know, um, this is what I've been saying for a long time. Remember... I, I, what is my, my regular mantra own physical media? Well, now they're redefining what home media is. So it's no longer physical media. Now Disney is calling what you stream on their channel home media. Mm. You don't own it anymore. If you subscribe to Disney, you can watch it, but if they decide to pull it or to change it, or whatever you no longer get it even though you paid for it you go spend thirty dollars to see mulan and it'll be there for as long as they choose and then they'll take it away and congratulations you own nothing well apparently you don't get paid anything either that's what this is um I, I'm, I'm telling you uh the uh they're trying to stick it into the category. This is a quote from uh, the attorney. Uh, they're trying to stick it into the category that will allow them to keep the most amount of money while ignoring why they were entitled to get that to begin yep. with. It doesn't make sense at all. Managing partner of Johnson & Johnson said, home video is not the same as streaming. They're not even close. Well, apparently that judge thought they were close. I wonder if the judge got paid off. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, this is my biggest problem with, with all of these tech rulings. We've got judges... Look, they're judges. I understand they need to understand the law, but they also need to understand the subject that's put before them. They <laughs> need to take the time to do the freaking work. Understand what you're ruling on. And if you can't manage to do that, you should say, you know what? I need to remand this to another court because I'm just not freaking intelligent enough to figure this stuff out. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I mean... You're you're making law here. You're you're making decisions that are going to affect, you know, whole industries. You need to make an informed decision. You know, this is people's businesses, people's lives that you're messing with. You're thinking this is some 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 um uh, old judge on the bench that basically said, "I don't understand this internet stuff. Sounds like home video to me." Exactly. Like that? That's you exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, but. What it also comes down to is uh, the hashtag I just shared in the stream, Disney, hashtag Disney must pay. And I'm referring specifically to the hashtag Foster versus Disney, where they're not paying their authors. And Alan Dean Foster needs to pay his freaking medical bills because he's fighting cancer, but he can't yeah. get his money for Splinter of the Mind's Eye and the other stuff that he's written for. Uh, it, it, Lucas is, you're, you're, I'm noticing a pattern here at Disney and Horizon Talker brings up on the one hand that's terrible on the other hand there is no good guy between Bill and Disney and yeah I get how some of you in the chat probably are not big fans of Bill Nye I understand that but the point is is that any you know it doesn't matter it matters is he's probably owed a lot more in royalties than what he's getting from Disney yeah. except that they're 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 I'm telling you we need to be intellectually honest I mean yeah. we're, back in the green room we were talking about somebody who is you know, 
someone that I don't generally like and don't generally agree with, but he is starting to realize that, that the world has gone so far left that even he can't tolerate it. And so he and I are starting to agree more and more on things. You start to find common enemies uh, when, when a bigger evil comes along. And I'm sad to say that that's Disney. Yeah. And we're there. Um, oh, and Lister, I would say don't just, yes, definitely keep doing that. Buy the physical copies of the things you love. If it is not obtainable, yeah. if it is not released on DVD, because I see from this article, I see it Disney going that way. They're going to stop releasing DVDs. You're going to have to stream it and you're going to have to make your own DVD. I'm wondering, because like, let's take, for instance, the Tom Hanks movie Greyhound. I mean, that's like the big thing on Apple TV+. Plus. It's also like the only thing on Apple TV+. Plus. Well, that and some Peanuts cartoons. But like, uh, when is that thing going to come to DVD and Blu-ray? Why would Apple want that coming out when it's the big draw for getting people to subscribe to their little service, okay? Yeah. I mean, I don't know when that day is going to come when they stop releasing stuff. But like, even with, the, we've had it already. Man, you know the that Mandalorian series, no, 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 nowhere in sight for a DVD release. Yeah. Um. Even with Netflix, but their shows, uh, they you we you will not get a Stranger Things season three on on DVD or Blu-ray till the season four premieres because they want you subscribing to their network. Okay. Right. Um. And uh, it's it's uh, I wonder if someday we will see them trying to get rid of Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, Blu-ray players. I have to tell you, they were in trouble because like a lot of the companies. I, I don't even know if they released any new models this past year or whatever, but then um, the um, the beer bug happened. Then suddenly the sale of Blu-ray players and Blu-rays skyrocketed. So I'm mm -hmm. hoping that's saving that market. Because I mean, right? Because for a while it was starting to turn into a niche market, and I'll be talking more about what that niche market is on a uh, Mr. Matches Extreme on Tuesday. But um, uh, you know, uh, I, I worry though that at least the big studios may think, oh, well, do we really need to be doing these Blu-ray releases when we we, we try to kind of want to get people to subscribe to our uh, services? You know. Well, I would say you know when it comes to things like. Uh... I mean, I have a hard time even finding the the Netflix um, Marvel series, you know, for 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 the U.S. the 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 U.K. DVDs are easy to find, but it's hard to find them in for for the U.S. Oh, in, I, in any quantity. I'm curious. Um, are you talking like if you want to go like off Jessica and Jones and and uh, Daredevil, Iron Man, and Power Fist, or uh, uh, Iron Fist, Fist and, and <laughs> Power? Power Man, whatever their names were. I, Iron Fist and Luke Cage, who may be, maybe that was his name. Power Man might have been his name in the comics. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, anyway, but um, no, I'm wondering, because I know that they did put Daredevil on, on, on home video, but I'm wondering too, I'm going to tell you, I was on Best Buy the other day, mm -hmm. and I've tried looking at Amazon. It's getting harder and harder to find DVDs that you want. One thing I notice on Best Buy lately is I find a DVD I want, and it's sold out. Yep, that's nice, Best Buy, that it's sold out. Um, can I still order it? And then when you get it back in stock, you send it to me. It just says sold out. Yep. I'm seriously, I don't know what's going on. Like, I honestly okay, think yeah. that it's, it's. I don't think they know either. What's happening is yeah. they're a distributor and they want to sell it. They can't get it. And I think what's happening is there's very limited uh, quantities of these things going out. There may be some legal reason that they have to put out something on DVD, but they don't want to. So they put out the minimum amount and then they quash it. And if you want to see it, you got to subscribe to their service and you watch. There's going to come a day when the contracts are up and they're going to say, you know what? We're not putting them on DVD anymore. We're done. You want you want to watch, you know, whatever one division you're going to have to subscribe in order to, to see it. I see no sign of Disney putting any of these series, the, these original series, out on on Blu-ray or DVD. Um, I got, I get, you know, uh, they, they're releasing the Mandalorian season one as a book, so you can read the book. It's like the old Doctor Who episodes. You you'd get to watch the show once, and then if you wanted to see it again, 
tough luck at unless least in Britain. Unless you in happen Britain. to have it sitting resident on your hard drive and you just happen to press it to DVD or well, something. Talk about in the old just days. Saying. In the old days in England, they would only show Doctor Who. Once. Oh yeah, I know that. And, yeah. and that's all why of those have... lost episodes because they didn't even have them anymore to reshow. A buddy of mine literally collected every single one of the novelizations. 